and welcome back to scoreboard we just took a little break so that we can uh, bring in our guests to be able to talk about a lot more that is happening in the world of sports and we'll be focusing on some of the challenges that are, are being faced by women's soccer but i told you earlier on that the talk in town is that women's soccer is doing better than men's soccer but i'll get you into that in one moment i'm looking at some of the tweets that are coming in about whether or not that's the kind of money that we need to be able to lift soccer to where it should be and john jeb says yes that can make me get into football and start training even now because of the motivation. I'll read more of them when they come. Uh, but right now, I really need to introduce our guest here who's um, in studio today. Charity Wangoma is our guest today. Now, Charity is uh, the women rep was in Gishu County Football Association. Let's get it clear. She's a women rep rep was in Gishu County Football Association. Now she's also the founder and director of Mama Dior Football Foundation and also the founder and director of Bondeni Football Academy. So if you hear people talking about Mama Dioff, she is Mama Dioff. Oh, Karibu yes. sana. Thank Mama you. Thank you, Bernard. Dioff and Endelea Aji. Dioff and Kofiti. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. your Mama Dioff, there must be Dioff somewhere. Of course. Of Who course. is Dioff? Dioff is my son. He's, oh, okay. Um, yes, he's does Indian. he play soccer? He, uh, he plays good soccer. He plays good soccer. Yeah, so does. everybody knows you as Mama Dioff. Eh? Yes, they yes. even forget about all these other things you're doing. So yes. you are a director of Mama Dioff Football Foundation yes. and a director of Bondengni Football Academy. What do they do? Uh -huh. So, uh, just like you've said, my name is Charity Wangoma, uh, commonly known as Mama Diof. Actually, nobody knows, knows that I'm Charity. They know I'm Mama Diof. Uh, so, as uh, a director and founder of Mama Diof Football Academy, um, Mama Diof Football Academy is the big umbrella. So, under it, we have uh, the Bondeni Football uh, Club. Academy. Mm -hmm. or a club academy. or academy, okay. Academy. And then, uh, we have uh, Esport Dex Talent. That is the branch for the women. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Okay. We have um, Bondeni Football uh, Club is for boys and then Espodex Starlet is uh, for girls. Okay. So what do you do as Mamadio Football Foundation? So Mamadio Football Foundation uses uh, sports as a tool for advocacy on various issues that affect uh, girls and young women in sports. Girls so, and young women. And young women in sports. Those boys in the academy, <laughs> they wait a little. No, no, no. The boys, the boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wanted to say that uh, Mamadio Football Foundation also... Uh, you know, uh, is a platform uh, for social economic transformation and empowerment of girls and young women. Whoa. So why do we have boys? So we have boys because somebody once challenged me and said, when you are busy empowering girls and you're not, uh, uh, you're not training boys to deal with empowered girls, then... No, there's a disconnect there. Yes, then yeah. you are really creating a serious problem. Yeah. So that is why we have the boys uh, section as well. Okay. So that we have boys that know how to deal with girls that are empowered. Right. Yes. So ultimately, the boys will have to deal with the girls that are empowered. <laughs> empowered so yes. you're being prepared for something that is coming. Oh, yes. Let's talk about this empowerment of girls as well. Yeah. And I particularly think that um, you talked more mm -hmm. about issues that uh, women football or women are facing. First yeah. of all, we think that women football is doing well in Kenya at the moment, mm -hmm. pegged on the results that we've had recently. Yes. But why do you feel there are challenges? What do you think is the challenges that, is, that are stopping women from doing better than where they are at the moment? All right, so um, uh, there are several challenges. Uh, we've talked about them severally, but the most common challenges, uh, first of all, lack of, uh, you know, let me say poor leadership. Poor leadership. Poor leadership. From women poor or management, for women? For women poor for leadership, women. poor management, and poor administration. That is, the people that are put in charge of running women football in this country are not qualified. Whether men or women? Whether men or women. But we know that right now it's women that are put to be in charge of women football. Mm -hmm. So women are picked just because they're women. Oh, these are a woman. Okay, fine. You can manage women, women football. It does not matter whether you have the skills, the qualification, the expertise, the experience, the knowledge. Mm -mm. You are a woman. Let's do this. The wow. biggest challenge. This is the right first now. time I'm hearing this kind of comment. <laughs> where, where, where someone's saying, look, <laughs> let's not pick a woman just because she's a yes, woman. Just because she's a woman. You know, yes. you know the other day, Bernard, one of the, one of the candidates for the FKF presidency said that the problem... Who, who are you talking had, about? Samuel Wino? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, it was Samuel Wino Kempes. Or who? No, it wasn't Kempes. Yeah. Someone else who said that the problem we have started 30 years ago. It is poor, poor leadership. Mm -hmm. We have had it 
all that along. must have been at the launch just recent along. yeah so yeah. but yeah. but let's let's so go on. now to so hear women, from the lady side yeah. yes and talking about women yes. for the sake of women it so you're is. saying that's one of the problems yes it, it's actually the biggest problem because once you have the wrong person in the office then who is going to fight for the, the equal distribution of resources who is going to ensure that structures and systems are put in place? But if you put a man there, the yeah. women will still complain that it's a man there. Yeah, the women will still complain. But we are saying that there are women that are qualified to do oh, the job. Yes. Oh, you're saying there that they were not picked for those jobs? Of, of course. Why? That is the big question. Okay. Why? Because the women that are supposed to be running football are supposed to be flower girls. Mm -hmm. You get. It, it, to who? To the to the men that are running uh, 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 okay. the football. The, okay. The disorganized <laughs> men. <laughs> 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 let's structure this discussion. Let, yes. Let's not trivialize this discussion. All right. What you're saying is yes. those who are in the leadership of football mm -hmm. have put people who only are aligned to them oh, around yes. there. If you're if, if you have say skills, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. If you have Whatever skills you're and you're saying, not aligned, oh, you're no, out. No, no, you're out. You're okay. Out. That has been a complaint that I've had before. Yes. That people, even the men are saying that football has been hijacked. It's mm -hmm. uh, been put close to some people and not yeah. others. Mm -hmm. But you've also mentioned infrastructure. Yes. How does that affect the what you're doing for women? Training grounds, training equipment. Most of the most of the of the, of the fields that we use for training, substandard, not appropriate completely. And for then, women or for football? No, for football. For football. For football, but because now women play, and you know, women are a little bit fragile. And I'm not saying we are weak. We are a little bit fragile. Mm. We need, you know, mm. better better facilities. So we don't have the facilities. We do not have the equipment. You go to the grassroots levels. Girls train barefoot. When you want them to play a match, you, you now give them boots to, to play. They have trained bare feet. You want, to, you want to give them a match to play in boots. There's lack of uh, the, the training facilities. Now, girls that, you know, teenagers, they have, you know, boots. They're growing up. Yes, yes they're growing they're, they're, up. They're growing. And they don't even have the training bras. You know, there's, we lack a lot of uh, equipment that we are supposed to be using. Who for are you training. blaming so for this? Are you, are you saying I'm, I'm, that it's I'm, not... I'm, I'm, bla I'm mm. blaming the people that are tasked with, 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 with this. You know, people that get funds on behalf of the country to run the football. They do not use the money appropriately. The kitting is totally... Yes. It's, it's not there. It's not there. You know, I once uh, was commentating an international athletics event, a world athletics event, mm -hmm. and one lady from Ethiopia had just the wrong kitting. And she was, what you're talking about, a yes. teenager. Yes, yes. And she was wearing a, a, a vest, mm -hmm. but she had nothing under. Yes. And the vest was slightly big. And you mm -hmm. know the way sometimes oh, kids yeah. are given to the wrong people. Yes. And I can yes. tell you, she had very good place. She was running barefoot as well. Mm -hmm. But now she had to stop and adjust her breath yes, because every everything moment. was coming out. Yes, was Not coming every out. moment. Yeah. She actually just had to slow down because okay. now it was embarrassing because mm. everything was coming and out. And you can and imagine I, when it happens when you're about to of, score a goal. It was one of the worst moments, mm. my worst moments as a commentator because now what do you say about that? Yeah. You don't want to shame her any yeah, further about what to, is going on yes. at the moment. So I can understand what you're saying in terms of kids and especially mm -hmm. for girls. Yeah, yeah. Boys, even when they're playing <laughs> as teams, in fact, how you know if they play from the opposite side is those who have no shots are playing versus those who exactly. have shots. Yes. Yeah. In fact, those who have shots <laughs> give those who don't have shots exactly. to make the team on that side. Exactly. But girls can't do that. Oh, no, girls cannot do that. They have so to be then their, their development becomes uh, slower. Uh, becomes okay. very slow, yes. That, that, that makes sense. I understand that. Mm. You, you told me something about unequal opportunities as well. Oh, yes. This is a very big debate in the world at the moment. Mm -hmm. e e equal pay for equal work. Yeah. Now men don't think that women are putting in all the work that, uh, or as much work as the men put in, in as much as they play 90 minutes as well. Yeah. What do you mean by unequal opportunities uh, and pay? There's, a, there, there's, there's very big parity in terms of pay and opportunities. For, for if, if you look at uh, what is happening in the world of football for the girls and then for the boys. Uh, let us look at, uh, you know, just Premier League. Kenyan Premier League. Kenyan Premier League. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I do not know whether... <laughs> there was no I money do, for the winner. I, <laughs> <do not. laughs> I do But not. one sponsor, Sami Owino Kempes, I, that I think gave money to... Was it Gaspo? Was it a I, I actually, I actually asked Sami. Oh, you did? I, he can tell you. Okay. Gaspo can tell you that I asked Sami to kindly give Gaspo something. You cannot put up that kind of a fight and then you walk were away they, with nothing. Second? I mean, yeah, yeah, they, yeah were, they, were they, were, they were the first runners up. First runners up. Yeah, you can imagine. Second, okay. Yeah. So when you kit uh, number one, and, and, and also, you know, the number one was supposed to be kitted, I think, 250,000 or 350, and then there was a lot of outcry by the, by the public. And so it was increased to one million. But now what happens to first runners up? They put up the fight. I mean, it's been a very, it was a very tight race. 
And then Even now for they the have winners to, just... to win, there had to be that opposition. Yes, for them to there, there had to, to be win. the opposition. Yes, and yes, then now yes. they were supposed to be walking out mm. with nothing, walking away with nothing. So I told Sam, you know, this cannot happen. Kindly. So Aniko, so Samuel you know, Kempes is the is the is the, is the man who launched his uh, campaign just the other day. Mm. So what what needs to be done then? There is, you called it unequal opportunities. You yes. See, th th this one is just prize money. But mm. what do you mean by unequal opportunities? Okay, when you talk about unequal opportunities, now we are not just talking about players. We are also talking about female coaches. We are talking about female referees. A well qualified female coach. Right now, I'm so happy actually that Belden is able to, you know, steer. The, uh, the, 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 yes. yes. But now there are other coaches. But for our female coach, you know, to be to be given the, the opportunity to train even a, a, a man's a, a men's team, you know. Oh, you want them to train a men's team? Oh, they're equal to the task. Okay. Yes, they're right. equal to the task, so they, they can do it. And also. Leave alone have they applied for the job? They apply. Oh. They apply. Actually, they do applications. They have the qualifications? Yes, they have the qualifications as well. They train. They, they are CAF, CAF B holders, CAF A holders, CAF C holders. So what is the, what's, what's the difference? What's the difference? They are trained in the same way the men are trained. So I think we are supposed to be given equal opportunities so that we can compete fairly. You know, we can subject them to interviews. If they fail, fine. If they pass, give them the chance to, to do their work. Mm -hmm. Benedem, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just wondering. You see... Um, uh, ladies football yeah. is is a, is a is a sport in growth yeah. in this country mm -hmm. okay it's it's not at par with the men's it's growing it, it's okay. you know you know sometimes it's growing. you talk about the which one is growing faster you know women's no, the women's is definitely growing, growing faster than any other football in this country it's definitely yes. growing, growing faster so i it is very natural for this initial at this stage mm. maybe the sort of um uh, structures that we have in the men's game had not considered that the women's game would grow either this fast or would grow at all maybe that is why there are these issues and maybe what we need is um is a what is is, is getting more ladies into because there's no law that that uh, that bars, uh, that bars ladies you know? from being in fka mm -hmm. for example yeah. or sitting in one of the committees mm -hmm. to 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 be there to espouse their their, their, their needs. I'm listening to you because, on the structures because yeah. that's where you are coming from and yeah. saying that maybe the game did not consider that. What would you give as a solution to that? Because the game probably never considered that there would be women playing in it. But they play yeah. the same measurement of the field with the but, same but, rules, but, the same but everything. But you, you see what you're saying. But that is why, that is why we also need you know, uh, the leadership that is proactive. Okay, that can adapt to changes very fast. I mean, if you've been in the federation for the last years and you see the kind of trends that are, you know, emerging trends and the new changes, you're supposed to be adapt so fast. It's either you ship up or you ship up. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you cannot catch up with, you know, the new trends, mm -hmm. the things that they develop, then seriously, there's nothing you're doing there. Do we have tell ladies me, who tell, sit tell, in me, tell me something. FKF? We have they're, ladies. They're, they're actually, FKF. the women football. Ken, she has already uh, said they're not up to the task. Oh, but so they're so they're not not <laughs> 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 Who's to blame now? Let's move this discussion forward. Yes. Gender biases. Mm. How do they affect the development of uh, the women's game in the country? Um, the gender biases actually start from right from the homes, from the home settings. Mm. Uh, when you, you, when I'm a mother and I have I have a son Diof and I have a daughter Michal, and then now they want to go play football. You know, I will tell my daughter, ah, ah, you stay behind. Can you wash plates? Do this. Your brother should go mm. and play. There are many boys yes, there. Yes, yeah. yeah. Let, let, there. let him yes. go and play. And, and why, why do you want to go and play? Let him go and play. You know, when my children come back from school and they are late, you know, when my daughter is late, I'll be like, where were you? Mm. I was playing mm. football. No. no. Mm. And if Dioff says I was playing football, oh, that's, that's okay, okay, Papa. That's fine. You know. So it starts from home. We do not feel that ladies are supposed to do this. They are talented. You know, if they are my children, because I played football, if they are my children, then I, and even my husband played football, then we, I expect that both my children, you know, have the, 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 the genetics. Okay? No, I, agree, I so, agree with you, but I'm also thinking as a parent, mm -hmm. you, you're probably worried about your daughter genuinely in terms of going in the middle mid, yeah. midst of boys. No, that, and, that's and, fine. and the reason is yeah. there's also been exploitation of girls. And uh, abuse, in, big time. And ab you want to call it abuse? Time. Yeah, how do you yes. tie in those two? How do you tie in those two? Then? You know, when you look at uh, under what uh, environments are they training? If it's the school setting, then we know they are safe. Mm. Yeah, I don't think there is a teacher that is going to be, you know, abusing these children right in the field. If it is a club, as a academy, I have an academy, mm. trained coaches, the, the bo both boys and girls are safe. They are okay. So, you know, under what environments are we saying that the girls might not be safe? So, if the well, what you're saying is very encouraging. Yeah. 
But there's the other side of the story that you're saying mm -hmm. that there, there, there is exploitation yeah. and there is abuse. Uh, how, how, how big, how rampant is it from your perspective? It is massive. I can tell you this for a fact, it is massive. Mm. It is massive. This happens in all, let me not say all, in most of the clubs. Right from the grassroots levels up to Premier League, up to the women Premier League levels, a girl trains hard, works hard, the whole week will not get playing time. A Why? girl, yes. Why? They will not. But that is because you have refused to perform, you know, some, to give some sexual favors to your coach. Okay? Mm. Yeah, the girls are very vulnerable. I've trained, I need to get a match. There's something I was saying the other day. The referees. The women referees are qualified, they train hard, they work hard, but they will not get appoint appointments because they have to do something the day before. So if you refuse, just know that you will not get a match. Mm. It is bad, Bernard. It is bad. We've had so many cases. We have, actually it's not something we're just talking about. It. We have evidence of this. Most of the times we even confront the perpetrators. We tell them this has to stop. That's very worrying. In my time as a commentator for the Kenyan Premier League, there were very many women referees who yeah. made it to the FIFA status, and mm -hmm. I think some, uh, a good number of them are instructors. Yeah. And then there were very many young ones who are coming up as well, mm -hmm. including Mary Njaroge, who's now been doing uh, even, the, even the World Cup. Lastly, she was uh, for the Women's World Cup and all that. Yeah. It's very worried. But what, what can we do about it? Because you talked about also female coaches as well. Do they also yeah. get, go through that? Uh, of course, they, they go through that. The female coaches go through this, and, and you know, it is a uh, if you, if you want to coach uh, in, in, in a certain club, you know, normally the, the female coaches don't even, do, they do not go in as the, as the head coaches. Mm -hmm. They go in maybe as trainers. So even for you to be given that room to grow and thrive, then there are some things you're supposed no, to do. You, you, you've really, you, you've opened up uh, uh, what, what we call the Pandora's box. box yes. uh, another time I tried to uh, bring my own box of issues, tried to open it. <laughs> it, it didn't look as bad as Pandora's. The Pandora's box seems to have a lot more bad things that happen there. Mm -hmm. But what is the solution? What, what is your advice? What would you want to say? If I gave you an opportunity now to address whoever it is, mm -hmm. what would you say about all these things that you have leveled against uh, 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 leadership and everything else? Let us just do things the right way. Let us get uh, women that are qualified, that are experienced, have the right knowledge, expertise, and everything to run women football. That's simple. Let us not play around with women football. Equal pay, unequal pay? Equal pay, equal, equal rights, opportunities. equal opportunities, equal rights, everything. That's going to take Let a little longer, don't you right think, Ken? Let in the offices. Just, I, I'm, just I'm, briefly. I'm just, we have just to start from something. I'm just listening, and, and, mm. and, 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 and there's something uh, important. She said that the, the women who are in leadership are, are just stooges mm -hmm. of, of the men. Mm. And I'm just wondering, many of these positions are elective. So why no, can't no, no, the ladies no, then no. Some just of them are appointments do. now. No, yeah, no, no. no. Uh, look, look, look at this, uh, Bernard. The FKF structure is such that literally all the positions up there are elected. No. Mm. Okay, what you yes. say is also right, but now the let, president let us look at it and like the this. and the others, but there yes. are employees in there as well. Yes, no, no okay. I'm not talking about the employees point. Um, and what, there is what the I'm trying to what I'm yeah. driving at is. Can't the ladies also go out and campaign? Okay, like just, just quickly then, now, who now, would now, be the now kind look of person at the delegates. About? Look at how people vote. Who are the delegates that vote in these people? You know, we've put, in, we put, it, we've put in uh, electoral votes. Because you can another element we've, now yeah, of the delegates voting. Yeah, we've put in electoral votes that, that, that bar other people from, from, you know, going into what, what, competitive What would have been elections. talking about more, and we are running out of time, is mm. the fact that those people who are running football, they are appointed. I mean, yeah. they, they, it, it's... It's an appointment given to them. Yes. It's not an elective position. Yes. Yeah, you know, that's what I was saying. And that's why she's saying that they've been elected deliberately because of what favors they can give to the. So what is the solution to that? Do we er eradicate the leadership? Well, the election is supposed to be coming on 20, uh, in, in February, in isn't February, it? In February, yes. the 24th God willing. Yes, yes. But, uh, you know, the person that ultimately makes all the decisions is elected. Yeah. This is a person that is elected. I'm talking about the woman. Yes. Not even the president of FKF. Mm. The next member is elected correct so it is upon the kenyan voters it is upon the delegates to elect somebody that you know can do the work somebody that is qualified uh, do, you, do you have a vote are you voting i'm voting oh and i who am is, voting it's gonna be a choice for vote or is that gonna be a secret it's not gonna be a secret because i'm offering myself as a candidate <laughs> oh yes <laughs> you're voting for yourself oh yes i'll be voting for myself <laughs> <laughs> that can never be a secret. <laughs> it's out now. Mama Diop yes. is going to be on the ballot for what position? Yes, for, for NEC member. Okay, for what about for president? Who will you go for? 
you will see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Diop is going for neck membership. Yes. I, I, if I was voting, mm. according to what she has told us, I would give my vote to her. Thank We've you. run out of time and I have to run. I, I, I really have to run very quickly. We've got a couple of things that we wanted to let you know that are happening over the weekend. But we wish you all the best. Thank you. And we hope that you have a vote. You need to vote the correct people I in. I do have a vote. And you know who you're going to put oh, in. Oh, yes. And we hope you're not going to let us down. We no. want to be able to bring you back here <laughs> after the elections to tell us, yes, I'm in the neck. And mm -hmm. this is what I'm doing Thank you. for women's all uh, right. football. Thank you very much, Baba Diof. <laughs> Charity you. Wangoma. And good luck to your academy as well. Asante. And uh, no, Ken no, Shege. No, yes. We have to go now. And uh, we have at least enlightened you on what's happening in women's soccer. If you are one of those people who is there, just make sure you're doing something that stops mm -hmm. whatever she says from happening around there. But we're going to go now. We'll leave you with what is going to happen over the weekend. I've seen your tweets as well. Unfortunately, I can't take all of them because of time. Here is what is lined up for the weekend for you. Put it on your diary so that you don't miss out on the sporting action.